Hello everyone, I'm Lee Falk with the LSU Ag Center. I'm a regional extension agent uh, working in livestock in the northwest region of the state. We're here at the Hill Farm Research Station. We're at our main set of pens. We're going to kind of give you a little overview of, of how we work cattle and a little bit on our pens. I think our pens are kind of a, a unique deal, but then again they're not because they're put together. So you're seeing what you're going to see is over years and years of time certain aspects have been changed certain aspects have been added things have been built differently and that's a lot like most producers places you don't have uh it's very rare to see a brand new set of, of working pens that are just state of the art and, and, and all new from the get-go but what you see is people steadily work at stuff and they change things that that need to be changed and they make necessary uh necessary improvements as they go along through their operation. So starting off with, uh, we bring our cattle up through a, a lane system, uh, through a gate right there, kind of where the full wheeler and cattle trailer park. Uh, you'll also notice, and we'll talk about it real quick while we're here, we got our loadout facility right here. Uh, we have a system where we can load from either gooseneck level or we can raise up, put a pipe under it, and we can load from a, a, a semi-trailer, a, a, a double-decker pot, if you will. So that's kind of unique as well, and that system works very well. Uh, we got a little set of heifers here, and we're just going to show you briefly how we flow cattle in, in through this uh, facility. Brian and Jason are bringing them in. This is our main holding pen you see here. We do have a little bit of uh, shade here that's handy if we're holding cattle. Uh, overnight, we've got some more shade behind us that we'll see here in just a minute. So we bring the cattle up here uh, through this initial lane. They usually flow pretty good when we're coming through here. We've got the ability, as you see, Brian, to swing this gate, and that can close it off, and it can serve as an extra sorting pin. We'll talk about sorting here in just a minute. So as they come through and they make the turn, they're going under our barn facility. This is our main shade area. We do have a gate to shut down here to hold cattle under here. As you can see, the cattle flow pretty well to the back of our barn, and that's what we want them to do whenever we get ready to load them through the chute. Uh, real quickly, while these guys are walking back here, we'll talk about our chute just a minute. We do have a hydraulic chute. It's, a, it's definitely a benefit when we're working a lot of cattle. It's an older model. Uh, it doesn't have some of the new innovations like uh, some of these chutes do, uh, but, but it is very handy. We have load bars under here but we no longer use them. We use uh, an individual scale system that is NTEP approved and certifiable. Our race system is a power river. This is the newest component to our working pen. It is adjustable. We can adjust it uh, for the biggest bulls all the way down to the weaning calves simply with the turn of the handle. So it does adjust in and that makes it very handy. We look to our right right here, we see our sorting pins. We've got three sorting pins that enable us to, to, to go three different ways, plus that bigger pin. So we have four potential areas, or five, depending on how you look at it, of, of areas we can sort as we're working the cattle. And we do have a hydraulic sort gate. Maybe we'll, we'll see it here in just a little while. So as we're, as we're coming down here, Brian's actually sorting some off. We do have concrete. When these pens were first built, they did put concrete in. Concrete was a lot cheaper then. That's no longer, uh, it's no longer as cheap an option for the uh, for the surface area of a, of a cow pen anymore. But it, it was at that time.
having these sorting pins is crucial, I think, to, uh, to a beef producer's operation. Being able to source cattle either when you're sending them, whether you're sorting some to sell or you're weighing your head and you're going to keep some, you're going to sell some, or just sorting through and, and making selections based on body condition. I think having the ability to hold cattle in different pens, no matter how you set it up, it is a is an excellent option. This lane width under this barn is, is very good. If I could change anything, Jason, would you mind opening that pen gate? One thing I would change about this facility, when Jason opens that gate back to towards our race, the gate doesn't meet up exactly with our race. So if Jason were to bring out a, a heifer, uh, there's a potential that she would slip by and and uh, get back behind where we want her. So if I could change that up a little bit, I would widen that gate up a couple of feet to where it would meet in uh, with that uh, with that race, and that would create a, a ability to hold the cattle. See, that heifer's going to think about it. If we put a lot of pressure on that heifer, she would definitely uh, pass that gate right there. We'll walk back here and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll look at how we uh, float cattle through this sheet. when we're getting ready to load cattle into our race, we just have a, a, a back pen here. We've got a gate back here. Brian's going to open that gate up. And Brian's going to flow about four or five uh, heifers through there. We don't have an elaborate sweep system or a bud box or anything like that. It would be a nice improvement, and that would probably be the next major improvement, improvement we make. This facility, while it works very well, it is more of a two-man job. As you can see, Brian's bringing the cattle. Jason's going to be helping him out. Jason's going to play a role on the side here. If you can have one man bringing them from behind while Jason stands to the side and creates that movement, it, it, it works well. Cattle flow through well with two people. One person is a little more difficult, as Jason alluded to in some of his videos, about creating movement from behind. We do have uh, one cut gate or, or uh, stop gate in here. This is a slide gate it's very well. A race this size really needs two. We've got one. It works for us. It might not work for everyone. But it's important to hold these cattle up close to the chute as possible and uh, kind of uh, keep them from bunching up in the back. Our scale system, as I said, this is a certifiable scale system. We've got our monitor mounted on the other side. We have one person over there that's administering vaccines or collecting data, weights and such. We have one man working over here, usually. So it's a two-man job, works pretty good. We'll bring the animal in. If we're collecting weights, we'll stop right here, get our weights, and then we'll uh, move them on into the, our squeeze chute. And we'll show y'all just a little bit about our hydraulic chute and our hydraulic uh, sort gate. One thing I want to make a point of is, is because when I turn this chute on, you won't be able to hear anything I say. The more uh, uh, newer, the newer, the more revolutionary hydraulic chute setups, you'll see people mount the pump and the motor in a, uh, in a location that's away, either in a barn or a good ways away from the chute. And what that does is allows you to work without the noise. So the noise can be a concern, so as you'll see. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna run this heifer through real quick. I'm also gonna show how we can sort. We, we've got a two-way hydraulic sort gate. It's a very simple system, but it's very effective for what we got. So we can, all, we can sort two ways coming out of it. So we'll show that as they come through. Basically, 
Hopefully we got two ways of sorting like we're talking about with the gate. And that's all control that keeps us. Uh,